आज चंद्रमा को छूने की हमारी इच्छा शक्ति चंद्रमा को आगोश में लेने की हमारी इच्छा शक्ति और संकल्प और प्रबल हुआ है और मजबूत हुआ है और हेलो एंड वेलकम टू स्वराज स्टैंडर्ड इंडिया हैज बीन ग्रिप्ड बाय द चंद्रयान टू फीवर and rightly so what a feat it is to be able to send something from here on earth all the way across a quarter of a million miles or 384000 kilometers to the moon aao tum bhi chaand pe le jaye pyar bhare sapne sajaye now while the state of the lander rover unit is uncertain at the time of recording this video Uh, let me tell you every indian can take solace in the fact that we are on the moon no doubt about that or as the great science communicator neil degrasse tyson put it the moon is now india's backyard so going back in time from india's vikram lander what other missions have put a piece of their heart the lander on the moon let's look at a selection of six we start at the beginning the very first thing from earth to touch the moon luna 9 The Soviet probe Luna 9 was the first ever mission to make contact with the moon or any celestial body at the time. The day was 3rd February 1966, 3 years before the world famous Apollo 11 mission when Luna 9 landed in the pothole equivalent of Bangalore's roads only way way bigger into a lunar crater and it sent us fantastic images from there. Next NASA's Survey 1 It was the days of the Cold War, you know, when the US and the then Soviet Union bickered on and on and on trying to outgun the other. So if the Soviets were able to put a thing on the moon, the US had to do it as well so that they don't get left behind. So 4 months after Luna 9 in 1966, the US successfully landed a probe on the moon. The whole thing lasted about 6 weeks, giving us a treasure trove of images that ran into the thousands. Third, Apollo 11. Remember that obscure mission back in the day that nobody really knows about? Well, this one isn't that because everyone in history knows about that time when NASA first put humans on the moon. Well, maybe except for the landing deniers who think Kubrick helped fake it. Astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin landed on the moon on 20th July 1969 as Michael Collins watched on from the orbit. Though something that doesn't often find mention They were not the only ones there, you know. The US actually put 12 humans on the moon in all. Fourth, Luna 16. Yes, the Soviets again. But this was a big step up from the Luna 9 probe. They outdid themselves in this mission by not just landing on the moon, which in itself is such a big feat, but putting their feet down on the lunar surface, then picking up the rocks and then getting it all the way back home to Earth. Isn't that phenomenal? And that too for 1970. Fifth, Luna Code One, another step up. This time, the Soviets were able to land and then move around the surface of the moon, which is what India's Pragyan rover had been sent out to do. The Soviet remote-controlled rover moved around for about 10 and a half kilometers, providing the friendly people of Earth back home with awesome pictures and videos. Sixth, China's Chang'e 3 probe. After a huge huge gap of something like 4 decades a soft landing on the moon was achieved once again and this time it was China on 4th December 2013 the Chang'e probe safely descended on the lunar surface and out came the U2 rover and like in any traveler back on earth it basically sat back and take nice pictures of the place instead of enjoying the moment of being there or maybe it did that as well i don't know and that brings us to Chandrayaan 2 which is currently operational there's a functioning orbiter there's a lander which india hasn't yet been able to reach let's just hope that our lander india's vikram gives us a ring back and says hey i'm okay now that's a wrap for today's episode of swaraj standard but trust me we'll keep trying to land some good videos on your feed and if you like them please undertake a probe to subscribe to our channel it will confirm the presence of your support which will make us very very happy so that's all i've got for you now see you in the next episode